there, Titan fans and engineers! Welcome to our Rotary Brushless Motor setup video. In this video, we will briefly go over how to set up a three-phase Rotary Brushless Motor using the Titan controller. Remember, Titan can work with many different types of motors, so please check out our other tutorials for setting up other motor types. First, let's connect a rotary brushless motor. Here we are using a NEMA 24 size motor with encoder and hall sensors. Let's power up the controller and check the communication. For this test, we will use the RS-485 communication. Go to the Motor Setup window and select Motor Database Wizard. Choose the three-phase rotary brushless servo motor and input the name, voltage, and max current for the motor. You can confirm and see that the hall sensors and the encoder are working properly by manually turning the motor. Also note that the Titan can work with brushless motors without hall sensors, so if it only has an encoder, that's no problem. Next, we will perform auto detect routine. First, the hall sensor sequence and encoder count resolution is determined. Next, the motor electrical parameters are determined. And finally, the motor mechanical parameters are determined. Save the parameters to the database file so that we can reuse the database when using the same motors with other Titans. Now, we will test motion of the motor from the test drive screen. To test motion, first enable the motor. You can see that the motor is enabled and in position. Here, you can try different jogging or position moves to test the motion of the motor. If you would like a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this, please check out our tutorial video on the test drive. Exit out of test drive and go to the configuration window. Here you can see various configuration settings. Exit out of configuration and open the parameter window. Here you have the full summary of the setup, which includes the motor database values and the full system configuration values. Once everything is finalized, a flash store can be performed to save all settings to the Titan. You can also save all the settings to a file so that they can be loaded to another Titan with the same motor and system setup values. As you can see, setting up a Titan with a BLDC motor is very simple. Please check out our other tutorials on how to set up other motor types, and feel free to contact our tech support if you still need help. Thank you for watching, and happy servoing!